Hey everyone, this video is going to show you how to conditionally format your emails so that you can visually color code them in the Microsoft Outlook app. I'm going to open up my Microsoft Outlook and these are my to and from emails and to make sure I'm on view up here. And then I'm going to come down to current view and go to view settings. And in here, I'm going to then choose conditional formatting, but I'm going to actually add a new rule here. You know, if I wanted to conditionally format all my um, incoming emails from my boss, let's say, or my principal, I could change this to the boss rule or the principal rule because I'm going to use my email as an example. I'm going to call this the Jordan rule. Then I'm gonna do font, so I can actually change this to whatever font I want. If you wanna choose a different font than what you have, just to make it stand out a little bit. I'm going to select a very noticeable font type. So I'm gonna select this Broadway. And then I'm actually gonna change this to red. So it's just very noticeable in the video today. And I'm gonna say, okay. I'm going to select condition and I'm gonna say from. So I'm gonna search for me. There I am. And I'm going to put me in the from. And so that should be any email. And I also wanna make it where I'm the only one so that I, this isn't part of a email chain from other people. And then I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna select okay. And then I'm gonna select okay. So if you look right away, any email from me shows up red and in that new font I selected. So I can see all the emails in my inbox that are from me to myself, I guess you could say. So it just makes it stand out very noticeable. So you could do that with any of them, but this only works in the Outlook app. It does not work in the webmail. So there's no place to do that here in the Outlook Office webmail in 365. I hope you find that this is an easy way to kind of visualize different emails from different people. You can even change the tail end, like if it's at whateverstudents.com or .org for your district. You can even use that methodology and highlight all student emails that are coming in.